happen. Well, we're going to bring you part of that. Let's discuss this a bit closer now. Former Texas Congresswoman Myra Flores, whose husband is also a Border Patrol agent in Texas, joins us. And alongside her, Pinal County, Arizona Sheriff Mark Lamb. Good to see you both today. Good to Thank see you. you too, Bianca. Yeah, I mean, this is a national uh, emergency here. Off the top, um, Myra, I know your husband's on the front line as you kind of see what's going on back in Washington. It's like a tale of, you know, completely different realities here. You had that border patrol, uh, the, I mean, excuse me, the border bill passed, but two Republicans, John Duarte and Thomas Massey, joined Democrats. They opposed the measure. Duarte from California says it would hurt many families that work in our valley and create difficulties for our food process producers. I just got to get your take on, on what you think is happening in your backyard where your husband is on the front line today. My husband and all our Border Patrol agents have been dealing with a border crisis, and the Biden administration has completely ignored this border crisis, and that is the reason why we have chaos. Our Border Patrol agents are apprehending more than 10,000 migrants a day. Jeff that is just we can't imagine, you know, this to continue. But the reason why we're in this situation is because the Biden administration is not enforcing the laws that we currently have in place. And Henry Cuellar and Vicente Gonzalez should be ashamed of themselves. They're a bunch of hypocrites. They go on Fox News whining about border security, asking the Biden administration to secure the border, but yet voted against border security yesterday. That's right. They should be voted out. And they're not moderate. We so are. People need to stop calling them moderates. We are, you know, seeing the hypocrisy. We're looking live here at San Ysidro, California. To be clear, I used to live in San Diego, and this is San Diego County, just across from Tijuana. And Sheriff Lamb, I'm dating myself, but it was the late 90s, and I used to come over and look, cover your border as well on the Nogales crossing. Back then, you'd see maybe um, a straggler or two migrant during the day brave enough. But now, today, we know they are they're coming across in thousands a day. Just tell us what's happening right now along your border in Arizona. Uh, it's a disaster. Look, the Yuma sector is very different. The Yuma, you get a lot of people from all over the world. You've got Brazilians, Mauritanians, which is in a place in Africa that tends to have terrorism come from there. You've got people from India, from, I mean, from all over the place. Yesterday, Yuma sector had 1,550 apprehensions, the highest they've ever had. They have 4,000 people in custody right now on Border Patrol, which is 220% higher than what their capacity is. Now they're starting to release those people into our communities. You get into the Tucson sector, that's Cochise County, Pinal, Pima. Those are areas that we get predominantly military age men. They are also overwhelmed, over capacity and starting to release people into our communities. Yeah, these are not just uh, families. There are definitely people, as you mentioned, who are on watch lists and there's gang members all coming across here. Uh, Myra, I would like to play a little bit of what Senator Ted Cruz uh, said uh, during a news conference where he was in Brownsville, Texas, and get your reaction after. Let's play this clip. The talking point of the Democrats, which this media reporter happily parrots, is, gosh, the problem can't be fixed. There's one little problem with that. It is an utter and complete lie. In 2020, the last year of the Trump presidency, we had the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. You ask, what have I done? I've championed the men and women of Border Patrol. I've championed securing the border. I've championed Remain in Mexico. And we turned this problem around and solved it. And we went from Joe Biden inherited the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. And the first day in office, he made political decisions to cause this problem. It seems the media just is unwilling uh, to recognize uh, the reality of this situation, still copying for this administration. First to you, Myra. But we recognize it. Those of us here in South Texas that see it every single day, we recognize this border crisis. We see it every single day. And I thank Senator Ted Cruz for speaking up, for being a voice for the Border Patrol agents and having our back because we don't have any representation in Washington. So, no, I thank him very much for the support that he's giving my husband and all the Border Patrol agents and law enforcement protecting our borders and doing the best that they can. And trying to do their job. Uh, they're being pulled off to process people, Sheriff Lamb. I just want to put up the New York Times headline here as, so our viewers can really see uh, how they're trying to create some other story uh, that does not exist. They're saying there was a relative calm and a sense of uncertainty along the United States-Mexico border. Do we have that New York Times headline there? Uh, again, 
that's really not reality. That is not the truth. When you see this, and it's so distinctly off, Sheriff Lamb, how does that make you and your force feel? Well, they're just flat out lying to the people. They're minimizing a problem they know has existed for a long time. It's not just the media. It's this administration. They've been gaslighting the American people, and they can no longer hide it. The most inhumane thing you can do is what this administration is already doing, because they are opening the door for the cartels to abuse these people, enslave these people, to bring fentanyl in and kill American lives. This is what's inhumane. These people are, that you see are oftentimes getting raped and taken advantage of. They have no food. I mean, this is most inhumane thing you can see. And now they, they want to throw that back. If you want to protect your border, they want to call you inhumane. Look, and as far as fixing this problem, Ted Cruz is right. One of my fellow sheriffs brought this up. At the height of Ellis Island, they processed 12 million people in one year, and they did it with a pencil and a paper. If you tell me that we can't process people in an orderly fashion or turn them back to their respective countries, which is what we should be doing if they came here illegally— turn them back. If you're telling me we can't do that with all the technology that exists today, then this is just a flat out lie. We can do it. We've got to start doing it. This administration needs to do it. And the, the media above and beyond what you're doing there, Bianca, I love what you do, but the rest of the media needs to tell the truth. Thank you, sir. Uh, Newsmax will continue to tell the truth, obviously, and look at the pictures that's unfolding here in San Ysidro and uh, great analysis. Uh, again, it does seem like there's an unwillingness to uh, turn the people away. And like you said, have orderly fashion. And Myra, I know your husband's out there in the front lines. Sheriff Lamb, we thank you both for your time today and uh, continue to give us updates on what you're actually seeing there on the front lines. We appreciate it to you both. Thank you. Thank you.